In this video, I wanted to take everyone through our really cool project builder application. It's Andrew McDonald here. I'm one of the co-founders of The Rookies, and this is a, a part of the new application that we're really excited about. It's uh, hopefully going to allow everyone to really sort of take their portfolios to the next level and just get a little bit creative and hopefully have a little bit of fun creating their own project. So to jump right in, let's create a project. You've obviously got to have an account. Um, I'm at the home page right now on this demonstration and I'm going to drop straight in and create a new project. As you can see, there's step one of two right now for adding project content. This first step is where you add all your images, your media, you embed things, um, you get a little bit creative. The step two is where we start adding tags and a description and setting a few things like that. So what I wanna do is just run you through what we've got on this cool little sidebar here. So right in here, this is the representation of what your finished project page is gonna look like. So we obviously need some content here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text. So once we click on that, you can see we actually get a little text field here and it says, add your content below and then select text for formatting options. Now what that means is you can actually select your text and then you get a nice little drop down here to actually go ahead, add some headings, um, maybe you know, add a link and do whatever you need to do to actually make this text a little bit more interesting. So go to town on this, add as many little text paragraphs and you know, content in here as you want. Once you're happy with that, just hit done. This will give you a representation of what that actually looks like. So why don't we now just go add an image? It's as simple as just sitting add image and it'll drop straight in there. You'll have a look now, we've actually got some extra things. We're just gonna to move top to bottom. You've got add image row. Now this is like a gallery. So you could have anywhere up to 10 images in one row or two images in one row. It's up to you. So this is where you can come in and start adding quite a few more. So I've got four examples here. It's advisable to actually have these the same size. So spend a little time, um, you know, just making sure the images are the same size. It doesn't actually matter if it isn't, but it'll help your presentation just to, to make it look quite nice. So there's our image row. Um, one of the next ones I'd like to show is the process view. This is actually something we're really excited to see what everyone does here. So basically this will allow a fading effect between um, up to five images. So to give you an example, let's just drop this in right now and we will add I've got two images here that are the same size and you can see they're actually a wireframe and a finished render. So what we wanna do there is drop that in. And you can actually see here, it's dropped in, but now it's got a nice little yellow bar across the bottom. This little icon indicates that it's a process view and then we can just slide between the two of them. Things are starting to look pretty cool. So what we might do is instead of going through the rest of them just yet, we'll come back to that in a minute because let's go see how this looks on the, the homepage. You can obviously collapse the sidebar and get a pretty good idea of how things are gonna look, but let's really go and check it out. So what you see here is our step two. This is just the project details. So we obviously have a place for a featured thumbnail. Now this can also um, be toggled on to be used as your cover image. So a big, nice big image at the top of your page um, as a background. Now the aspect ratio is four to three. You can obviously use our cropping tool here. This is what your project thumbnail will look like in the community when people are searching around. But this will also be used as your cover image if you opt in down the bottom here. So. Um, let's just go tick that right now. There's our cover image. If we, um, we'll go ahead without a cover image at the moment and come back and show you the difference. So let's just do test project here. Um, we'll add our description in and we can obviously just step through and start selecting uh, software. So add as many software tags as you like. Um, you can also add uh, tags. Once again, just select it from the drop down. If it isn't there, um, you can just write new tag and hit enter, or oh, sorry, your, ex your example, your tag, and just hit enter and it will be used as well. 
We're not going to go through collaborators at the moment, but this one will allow you to select members um, that have contributed to this project um, and you can actually select members or add people that aren't members. So we'll go through that at another time. Um, same with cover image and adult content. So let's just, we can publish this, uh, sorry, preview this, but we're gonna go through and publish this at the moment. Once you hit pro, uh, publish, you'll be taken to your project page. So you can see here, we've got our nice big title, a link to your um, profile page, the date, the first little description you actually put in. And once you start scrolling through the page, you can start seeing here's the text, here's our big single image, here's our four, uh, image row examples, and here is our process view. Now at any point you can see that the cursor is actually um, indicating that you can zoom in. So let's zoom in on some of the, the smaller ones here. So you can see if I click in that, I can then be taken to a full screen view. You can either use your arrow keys to kick through, or you can actually, uh, sorry that was just the clicking arrow keys here, or you can use your keyboard. You can actually just click through and it'll actually go through every image on your portfolio, uh, your project page, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, if you get to an image that might be bigger than the screen real estate that you've got, just double click, not a great example because that is actually the same size. Um, you can see this, but you can actually zoom in. So obviously, if you've got a very big image that you've uploaded, it's kind of cool to be able to zoom in and check out what's going on. Um, either hit the escape key or the cross up here to go back. So now that we've got an idea of the page, you could obviously leave that, keep going, but let's go through and continue editing. You might have realized you wanted to add some videos or just change the layout a bit. So we're gonna continue on and do that. So moving down the list, let's check out embed video. Uh, embed Vimeo, I should say. I've literally gone across to Vimeo. I found my um, embed link, which is just obviously the URL. You get an example at the start here just to indicate that this is what it is looking for. I'm pasting in my version and I'm just gonna hit done. That's gonna automatically embed that video. We'll do the same with YouTube. Um, we've got a YouTube video, similar thing. Any of the main YouTube URLs um, will work. Obviously there's a few different ones that it uses, but uh, grab, the, grab any of them and they, they should work in here. So once again, once you do that, you've dropped in and you've got a couple of videos that you can play. On this theme, if we keep kicking down the list, we've got Add 3D Viewer. So the 3D Viewer that we've opted for at the moment is Sketchfab. And same thing, if you head across to their website, you upload a video there, every one of your models will actually have a URL that looks like this. So I've gone across, I've grabbed an example one, and I'm just gonna drop that in like so. Um, if you're interested, like these are examples of uh, work that people have submitted before. So uh, it looks very cool. Not my work, but congratulations to the people's work. It's uh, very, very cool. Um, one last one we might actually just quickly drop in is some code. So if you've written a cool script um, and you want to actually share that, you're going to have that on GitHub. So to be able to access that, we allow you to embed gist files. So same thing, once you've got it on GitHub, you will be able to share that via gist and you just simply drop the code in there and there you go. So let's actually just go have a look how that is coming along at the moment. What we might do as well is switch over and allow this thumbnail image or cover image um, to be displayed. And let's see what we've got there. So you'll see this is how the cover image comes in. It's taken your thumbnail image and used the full size version across here to give it a, quite a cool, unique view. Um, come through, you've got your image, uh, text, your gallery row, um, your process view. Here come your videos that will play through Vimeo and YouTube. We've got our 3D viewer and obviously we've got our um, code from GitHub. Now, you might be thinking, okay, maybe I want to actually rearrange things or just play with the layout a bit. 
that one's easy to do as well. All you need to do is come back in this view. And you notice each of these actually have a couple of icons. To go through them, this one's obviously a simple edit one. And depending on where you are or which element you're actually using, it will open up those edit um, functions. Now there's also a reorder button here, which will allow you to go into a table view, very similar to some of the other um, websites you're familiar with, and this will allow you to quickly drag and drop. We don't want this functionality on the main page because simply the page is going to get too big and this will allow things to be a lot faster. So what we might do here is we might just drop the text down a bit, uh, we might sort of bring uh, the, the code up under the process view and just hit done. So you'll see now that's rearranged everything. Now, one thing that you might want to do, one last little thing that we've got here is a spacer. You would have noticed on the demo of the front page, everything's kind of stacked nicely together. Um, there's a lot of advantages for that, but there might be times where you're like, I just want a little bit of space between my images. So you can add a space element. I'm going to add two in this example because I want one top and bottom of what I'm going to space out. So I've added my two space elements here and I'm just going to reorder them. And I'm going to put those, why don't we put those around the image row. So there should be the text, a space, and our image row. So we've got a nice space here. Now, one thing we can do as well is here's an example. We can come in and think, well, I want to rearrange my images in my image row. So you see that will update correctly. And we might think, you know what, this little image here doesn't actually work um, with what you were hoping for. So I'm just going to delete that one and it'll update. And you know what? Let's just delete this one too. So we're going to a two row. Then we can just scroll down again, um, hit done. You can obviously also add additional images if you find them. So once we've done that, let's hit continue and we can go see what's happening on the front. So here it is, your finished, finished project. Uh, you've got your nice cover image, title, description. Here's the image that you move to the front. Your text. Uh, we've got your two image rows here. We have got our process view, which is our really exciting fade between. Obviously, you can go up to five images. So show us everything. The most important thing to remember with the process view is keep your images the same size. Um, you it will allow you to really show a transition. Treat it like a little mini video and uh, yeah, go to town with it. Actually, we want to see more than just, you know, say a wireframe to a shaded view. We want to see, you know, some lighting artists show us how they built a scene with five different lights or a composite of what elements you used or even an animator. Show us five keyframes and allow the viewer to blend through those. So yeah, really interested to see how everyone treats that one. So kicking back through, uh, we've obviously got our gist, we've got our um, videos, and actually one that we should have just remembered, we've actually got our spacer here. So we've got a spacer here and a spacer here. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, go have a play with it. And yeah, really looking forward to seeing what everyone actually comes up with. So you can obviously add as many of those as you want. But that's it. That's, uh, that's where the project builder is at. Have a bit of fun with it. Let's see what you can actually do.